The anti-government protests in Thailand took a violent turn over the weekend. And on Monday, Prime Minister Ng Lak Shinawat rejected demands by the opposition to step down. Our Kwan Soa reports. On Sunday night, the opposition leading the protests in Thailand gave Prime Minister Ng Lak Shinawat a two-day ultimatum to step down from her post. Ng Nak replied Monday by saying it is not possible for her to resign due to the nation's constitution, but she did add that she is still open to talks. Opposition leader Sute Taksuban said Sunday there was no room for negotiations, but did not elaborate on what actions might follow if the request was not accepted. Days of protests became violent over the weekend when opposition protesters, government supporters and police clashed. At least four people have been killed and hundreds injured during demonstrations in the capital of Bangkok. About 30,000 protesters gathered at major government sites over the weekend in efforts to unseat Prime Minister Ng Nak. The protesters accused the Prime Minister of being a puppet for her brother, former Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawat, who was ousted in a coup in 2006. The red shirt vehicle came over to our side first. So we bought the T-shirts with the Thaksin's face on it. The current government was set up through elections. It's not a military regime. I don't understand the anti-government protesters. Sutep, the opposition leader, called on government employees to go on a general strike Monday. I declare Monday as a national holiday for all government employees for the resignation of the government. The clashes continued on Monday as demonstrators tried to storm barricades in front of the Prime Minister's office. However, correspondents said that the number of protesters seemed to have diminished compared to the weekend. Meanwhile, several universities, more than 60 schools and the main United Nations office in the capital were closed on Monday due to security concerns. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.